strong. Hey everybody, Oscar from Missouri here. Welcome back. Uh, glad you were able to spend a few few moments with me here. Um, as you can tell from the uh, title, we're gonna kind of go over building structures today. Uh, but first, let's jump into the first segment. I've got my JB Cobbler building here which I think is a good representation of a lot of the features that come along with the top of the market, uh, you know, uh, as far as old scale is concerned, well, any scale really, uh, building structures. Um, if you look real closely, you can kind of see some weathering. Um, you see that pattern there, a lot of it right there below the windowsill, below the uh, air conditioner and the plant there. I mean, you just can't beat that kind of stuff. Uh, the window dressings, you can see some blinds right there. Man, uh, how they put that in there, I, I just don't know. The uh, wall advertisement. And if you go up top here, you've got some building uh, rooftop stuff. Uh, what do you call that? The uh, uh, vent stacks, HVAC, some fireplace uh, uh, little structures there. On this side, you have some ground, some more ground accessories, uh, like the dumpster there. You've got your utility um, and uh, a pole, another advertisement. Look at that. I mean, you can't beat that weathering, um, which gives uh, a structure like this a lot of, you know, detail. Around back here, Look what you got, a rug hanging over, some plants. Man, you just can't beat that. The gutter system, some more HVAC units in the windows there. If you look below here, see if I can get down. There is a light placeholder there. Look at that. That's a perfect opportunity to pull that out and put in one of uh, Woodland Scenics uh, what do you call them? The gooseneck uh, light fixtures? Man, I, it, I mean, you just can't beat that. Around front here, the JV Cobbler uh, signage. And, oh, how can I forget? The figures. The figures come with the building, right? All of that detail in one building that's kind of what helps make them at the top of the market. But I mean, you pay a heavy price for that too. And this is kind of my segue into showing you how you can get the same type of quality and detail with a little work on your part. Here's a good example of spending your money wisely. Um, I purchased this Ameritown building. And as you can see, um, I added some details in the back there, a light, um, and some accessories in the back there. And if you come around front here, you can kind of see where, um, like I said, I'm going to put a sign on there on the brewery and I, uh, will expand that a little bit more. So to kind of wrap up the, uh, building structure strategy, um, Ideally, you're supposed to put all your very nice, more expensive buildings up front, closer to your audience, and the cheaper ones in the back, and that's kind of what I've done. The MTH one that I have there and the two Ameritowns are in the back of the scene. I'll probably uh, <coughs> have a whole bunch of uh, building flats across the back there, um, which will be, uh, uh, I guess, leasing. Uh, not as expensive, but um, as things go, I'll, I'll dress up the MTH building there. I got that one at a fraction of a price, a friend of mine, and I'll, you know, accessorize it. I'll 3D print some, some rooftop accessories and some, uh, 
you know, just some ground accessories, maybe some utility poles or I don't know, just something to kind of dress it up a little bit more. And once I get done with it, it'll look like one of these Woodland Scenics buildings at a big fraction of the price. Uh, so just to kind of wrap up, like I said, you know, you put your Woodland Scenics up front, uh, your, uh, your cheaper ones uh, in the back, and you dress them up so they look like they would actually fit into the scene. So at this point, I'm gonna go over a few layout updates. Um, so as you can kind of see right off, I've kind of added some things to begin my corner market. Uh, I've also added people when they're, one up there by the brewery and one way over there by the pawn shop. Um, I have some on the other side, on the uh, first phase of the layout. Um, I just kind of put some, begin to put some people in, glue them in. Um, secondly, I guess I got the street lights in. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I got four on this side of the street and I'm thinking about putting two more on this side, one on each corner. Um, let's see, if we zoom in, you can see I kind of got the parking meters in, which is great. Uh, threw some benches over there by the pawn shop and a buddy of mine found uh, this uh, opposite corner MTH building and got it for me. Got a good price for it as, as well. So um, I'm gonna probably dress that bad boy up and you know put some additional features on them and customize it. So I was pretty happy about that acquisition. From I think that's an eBay special. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the mountainside. Can't forget that. Got a lot more bushes, weeds, and shrubs along the mountainside here. All right. And I also got some over here. I'm beginning to add some on the lower level of my rock work. Just beginning. So pretty happy about that as well. Uh, oh yeah, the control center. All of this is new. I kind of had things hanging in place, but now everything's pretty organized. Got little shelves there, a little iPad for controlling things. And I saved the best for last. I've been talking about it for a while. And guess what I finally got? The substation. As you can see, still got some glue that's kind of wet there, but got it installed, leveled up pretty good. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with this bad boy. Not sure. But I'll throw some more rock around it after this uh, portion dries. And eventually I'll put a fence on it. Pretty excited about that. I think that's going to stand out on the layout as I uh, continue on. Hope you like what you see. Uh, leave me some comments on anything you think I might want to improve on, but that's kind of all I have at this point. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, enjoy those layouts.